Alright, since it's spooky and scary, we're gonna corrupt Castlevania. And already we're having corruptions. Yeah, um. Um, okay. Uh, okay, game. Okay! And here we have the hidden grave party! <sighs> okay, we're just gonna fast forward to that. And we have reached a brick wall. And here we have Simon Belmont taking a nice nap on top of the fountain. Okay, let's turn this down a little bit, or well, the auto corrupt intensity down by five. We're still in chunk. And there goes the pallets. Man, don't you remember when the game was in pink and greens? Hmm. Oh no, there's zombies that. The game is more than losing itself at this point. Man, don't you remember that classic Castlevania music feel? Man, just listen to it. Okay, bat. This is more stable than Mega Man for the most part. But now I can't jump. I have lost the ability to jump. Now I've gained the ability to jump again. 
And every time we die, we see that his life gets a little more and more hellish. Um. Okay. Okay. Sure. Sure. We can either continue or we can end. Um. I have the button that causes Simon to go to space. Best feature in a game ever. This is the same corruption as before. We have stopped going to space when we jump. And now, he errors out. Chunk is providing a lot more, it's just... That's not the castle game. Um, okay. You say so, boss. Well, I haven't gone to space yet. up the stairs before they decide to do that again. Oh my god, my eyes. bringing the background with me. I think I have broken the game. 
Right, so this is what happens when you try to corrupt Castlevania 1 on the NES. Oh my god, somehow this was still playable. There you go! This was another spooky episode. 